problems will always exist where the activities of the self are dominant. To be aware which are and which are not the activities of the self needs constant vigilance. This vigilance is not disciplined attention, but an extensive awareness which is choiceless. Disciplined attention gives strength to the self, it becomes a substitute and a dependence. Awareness, on the other hand, is not self-induced, nor is it the outcome of practice, it is understanding the whole content of the problem, the hidden as well as the superficial. The surface must be understood for the hidden to show itself, the hidden cannot be exposed if the surface mind is not quiet. This whole process is not verbal, nor is it a matter of mere experience. Verbalization indicates dullness of mind, and experience, being cumulative, makes for repetitiousness. Awareness is not a matter of determination, for purposive direction is resistance, which tends towards exclusiveness. Awareness is the silent and choiceless observation of what is, in this awareness the problem unrolls itself and thus it is fully and completely understood. A problem is never solved on its own level, being complex, it must be understood in its total process. To try to solve a problem on only one level, physical or psychological, leads to further conflict and confusion. For the resolution of a problem, there must be this awareness this passive alertness which reveals its total process.